So uh, at IBM, uh, we have really embraced that Jupyter and the Jupyter stack. And we have uh, used that in various of our products, like Watson Studio and Watson Machine Learning and others uh, as well that are based on notebooks. So what is Watson Studio and what it brings to you? So Watson Studio accelerates the machine learning and deep learning workflows required to infuse uh, AI into the enterprise and drive innovation. But if we really look into what uh, is uh, in Watson Studio, and, uh, it's basically built on top of open source, uh, particularly Jupyter Notebooks. Uh, we then, on top of that, we start providing uh, collaboration capabilities, uh, ability to run on different environments, and also uh, start associating that into, like, for example, Spark uh, runtimes, where you can start to uh, accelerate the big data uh, analytics that uses a Spark code uh, for uh, building and analyzing the data that you might have. Uh, when we start uh, uh, implementing that, or the users are starting to uh, in, uh, adding uh, to their environment on, on the enterprise, particularly uh, on on-premise deployments, we started seeing some limitations. And that was motivated us to start building a Jupyter Enterprise Gateway. Uh, kind of fancy definition of Jupyter Enterprise Gateway is that it's a lightweight, multi-tenant, scalable, secured gateway that enables notebooks to start sharing resources across a cluster. Uh, for us, that we are more familiar with notebooks and Jupyter, uh, what it really means is that we enable uh, remote kernels, and those kernels get distributed and available uh, on the runtimes that you have. Uh, when we started building the Enterprise Gateway, we focused on three main things. Uh, we want to make sure we had optimized resource allocation, uh, which means that uh, we will not be using only the resources on the current machine. We'll start using the resources on all the cluster uh, so that we can scale the number of data scientists that we can connect to a given uh, runtime. Uh, we also, uh, one of the first customers that we had was the IBM Cloud. And uh, the security policy that we have there is very strict. So we wanted to make sure that we had uh, enhanced security and, and, and all all the communications end-to-end -end were properly secured. So we enable the, 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 the sockets communication, particularly now that it's remote, to be encrypted, and all the other communications as well. Uh, and we also wanted to bring the notion of like uh, multi-user support with user impersonation. Uh, we leverage Kerberos in some of the environments, or we do other uh, techniques to uh, implement that. Uh, on the right side of the slide, uh, you can see a lot of like uh, resources links that you can use to learn more about uh, Enterprise Gateway and uh, some of the supported platforms, uh, and including like Spark, Spark and Kubernetes, and, and others. Uh, also, recently we have been seeing that uh, deep learning is kind of like uh, very hot. Very uh, a lot of people using that. Uh, we have also seen the rise of uh, deep learning as a service, uh, kind of like a platforms. Those platforms tend to abstract uh, a lot of like the uh, underneath the, the, the different platforms and how they, uh, the different frameworks and how they actually uh, enables you to uh, train and uh, uh, deploy your model. Unfortunately, uh, those platforms are kind of like a, in a batch mode, particularly because these deep learning uh, workloads tend to uh, take a lot of time. Uh, and batch is not really good and not what we as a data scientists are familiar uh, when we are using notebooks and performing kind of like interactive development. So uh, one of the things that we are working on is basically trying to uh, integrate those platforms and make it uh, very easy to use from the notebooks. Uh, if you want to learn more, uh, I have a session a little bit later today. And also, we're going to have a uh, meetup tonight where we're going to go into much more details of what we are doing on this area. And last but not least, uh, I have some announcements to do. So like today, uh, Enterprise Gateway is just coming, uh, the one over release out. So go uh, give it a try. Uh, take a look, see how it can help you guys. 
Uh, and also, um, not completely done yet, but we have started the process to make, uh, so currently we are a Jupyter Incubator uh, project. Uh, we have started the process to uh, graduation, and we should be uh, announcing that part as well very soon uh, in the next maybe a few days or, or a week or so. So uh, that's mostly what I wanted to bring to you guys. Uh, find me on the booths or, or on my sessions for further questions that you might have. Uh, thank you very much.